Welcome to Season 4, Episode 9 of the 5-Minute LinkedIn Marketer. My name is Karen Hollenbach and today I'm exploring LinkedIn profile strategy for the more introverted or I'm also going to say those with more ambivert tendencies. Now, something you may or may not know about me is that I do identify as someone who has ambivert tendencies. Now, to find out what that means, I'll put a blog titled, My name is Karen Hollenbach and I am an ambivert that I wrote a number of years ago now. And I had this insight after reading Susan Cain's book, Quiet. Now, that whole concept is a much bigger conversation that I'm going to have with you here today. If you have introvert or ambivert tendencies, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. And even if you don't, and you tend to have more extroverted tendencies, I think you'll really enjoy today's episode in the context of LinkedIn profile strategy and where I recommend you get started from more of a passive and inbound marketing perspective. When I train LinkedIn, and specifically when people want to talk to me about LinkedIn marketing, they really want to start with posting. And this comes back to a concept that I talked about in a previous episode. I think it was episode three of this season, and I'll put that link to it in the show notes too, where I think people uh, incorrectly believe LinkedIn is social media. And it's fair enough that people do classify LinkedIn as social media. And if you do embrace the concept that LinkedIn is not social media and that it does not require you to post daily from your LinkedIn profile, but it certainly does require a strategy from a networking and building influence perspective, then you need to be answering two specific questions. Now, why am I suggesting you answer these two questions? Well, they should be the the filter or the decision criteria that helps influence the way you write or craft your LinkedIn profile and how you conduct yourself on LinkedIn in terms of either your passive activity, which we're going to talk about today, versus your more active activity. So these two questions, I've talked about them in a previous episode a couple of seasons ago now, are this. What do you want to be known for when you're on LinkedIn? And who are you trying to influence when you're on LinkedIn or who are you hoping to get into conversations with through your LinkedIn activity? So when I talk about this idea of passive or more introverted or more ambiverted activity on LinkedIn, what I'm really talking about is this idea of LinkedIn is also a private meeting room. It has tools available through messaging that allow you to have private conversations that are not in that public news feed corridor. So what I'm going to do for the balance of this episode is take you through what those more passive types of activity are, and they are extremely powerful in staying meaningfully connected to your LinkedIn community. And in many ways, they form part of your inbound, more personal profile strategy. So these are the main things you need to think about in the context of this idea of the passive activity that you can do from your LinkedIn profile. Now, the first one is have a look at your profile views. Now, depending on whether you've got a free or a paid account, and with your free account, if you're in anonymous, you won't be able to see your profile view. So if you're in private mode, if you've got a paid premium account, you will be able to see who's viewed your profile, whether you're in private mode, anonymously viewing or not. The next passive activity is sending invitations to connect. And you should have well thought out rituals around this based on connecting your dots beyond what's going on in the LinkedIn activity, thinking about networking meetings you've attended over the course of the last little while, email introductions, people you might be researching, etc. Accepting invitations to connect is also an important element here and your follow-up rituals once you've accepted those invitations to connect. And in my networking and sales rituals 
as part of my LinkedIn marketing mentoring program. We go through detailed scripts that cover this. The next one is reviewing notifications and sending messages privately. So you can see information coming through in your notifications. Perhaps someone's uh, got a new job. Uh, perhaps they've finished an educational qualification or, or begun it. Uh, perhaps they've posted something interesting, a newsletter that you've read. You have the option to message people privately. You don't have to have those really public conversations in the LinkedIn newsfeed. And then finally, it's reviewing that newsfeed and sending or sharing or even saving particular content. And that's coming back to that private messaging. So it's almost a repeat of the previous point, but it's really making sure that you look at the notifications that are coming through your LinkedIn profile as well as what's in your newsfeed. And of course, to maximize this more passive activity, you need to do things like curate your newsfeed, follow relevant company pages and people, develop a connection criteria. So don't just have those invitations to connect sitting there have a think about who you will accept invitations to connect from and then really making sure you've determined your rituals across the week. So when will you spend time on LinkedIn? Will you be accessing it via the desktop, desktop or is it more suitable for you to have it on the app on your phone? So I hope you find that helpful. Do embrace from a LinkedIn profile strategy perspective this idea of the passive activity and in the next episode, I will talk to you about the more public and more active LinkedIn activity. And of course, that will appeal to the more extroverted people who are tuning in. But it is also something that the more introverted and those with ambivert tendencies should embrace in the context of what they want to be known for and who they're trying to influence. <music> If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review and share this podcast with your friends and colleagues. If you'd like to learn more about how to leverage LinkedIn, I'd love to be your guide. Sign up to my e-insights, my monthly newsletter that's packed with LinkedIn tips, thought starters and exclusive subscriber offers. If you're just starting out on your LinkedIn journey, I'm so glad you've found me and I recommend you check out my LinkedIn Profile Essentials online course. If you want to be the go-to for your organization's LinkedIn presence, I recommend you check out my LinkedIn Marketing Mentoring Program. Mm -hmm.